going into this process, we had never stated that radon and radiation were the only definitive um, tests that we should be performing. It was always meant to be phase one of a multi-approached uh, test. Um, they had done these tests early April, and my understanding was we would immediately go into air, water, and soil samples. So when the state had come out and Commissioner Sean LaTourette had stated that he's comfortable that there's nothing going on here based on only one test, never did we think doing a radon sample was going to be the be-all, end-all of the school study. Okay, just help us understand when we talk about radon testing versus other types of testing, what was done and what further testing would you like to see? So radon testing is no different than what you do when you're trying to buy or sell your home. They put a canister in your basement. It's exposed to the air. As radionuclides settle on the canister, they're collected. We send that off, and we can give you a reading of radon in your house. We had intended for them to concurrently do soil borings, looking for subsurface problems, also pulling air out of soil borings to see if we have buried drums? Do we have chemicals? Do we have a plume of gasoline leaking from the nearby gas station? So we had anticipated them doing air sampling, which is looking for things that have volatilized into the school, as well as doing soil sampling, which is looking for things that are still in the soil that not only are volatilizing into the school, but also can be leaking down into the aquifer and spreading the contaminant across the town. So, Al, Department of Health Commissioner Judy Persichilli joined the press conference last week. She said, when we compare the rates of people in New Jersey against our cancer registry to see how many from a certain region we can expect to get cancer or expect to have certain brain tumors, in this case, because many of the tumors are not cancerous, the findings that Al Lupiano has uncovered are right in line with where we expect the population to be, kind of the risk of living here in New Jersey. What's your response? I don't understand all the numbers that they presented. So they're not sharing with us what the cohort size was. They haven't told us what the population they're looking at. Another problem I have with her conclusions, they're looking at a 50 year time span. These brain tumors have a 20 year latency. So including students and teachers that were there last year is simply silly. Those individuals are not clear of brain tumors they may not have developed them yet. So using a 50-year cohort artificially inflates the expected numbers. Now, I am working with a team of doctors and epidemiologists right now, and they are looking at the data. And their initial conclusions are, we know the rates of primary brain tumors, 10 out of 100,000. Their conclusion that our population size of Colonia High School should have 105 primary brain tumors defies logic. They're looking deep at these numbers right now, and I hope for them to report back to me in the next week and give me some clear direction on whether or not the state's conclusions are correct or incorrect.